the possibility of military action by the US-led coalition against Damascus over the alleged use of chemical arms in eastern Ghouta has almost eclipsed the controversial Skripal case. We would have preferred an alternative path, but on this occasion there is none. We cannot allow the use of chemical weapons to become normalized, either within Syria, on the streets of the UK or elsewhere. In fact, it seems to have been the main objective of the attack. However, unlike the Western partners who have a soft spot for bombing and rocketing sovereign countries, Moscow prefers bombing lies and fakes. As is known, the same day the United States, France and Britain fired rockets at Syria, the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov disclosed the information on another chemical case. He said on Saturday at an annual assembly of the Council on Foreign and Defense Policy that Moscow has received unconditions of anonymity, the report from a Swiss lab that analyzed the samples in the nerve agent poisoning of the ex-Russian spy that were handed over to them by the UN-linked Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. И его прекурсора, относящихся к химическому оружию второй категории в соответствии с Конвенцией по запрещению химического оружия. Бизет является нервно-паралитическим отравляющим веществом, временно выводящим человека из строя. Психотоксичный эффект достигается через 30-60 минут после применения и длится до 4 суток. Данная рецептура находилась на вооружении армии США, Великобритании и других стран НАТО. В Советском Союзе и России разработок и накоплений подобных химических соединений не осуществлялось. Кроме того, в образцах также выявлено наличие отравляющего вещества нервно-паралитического действия типа А-234 в исходном состоянии и в значительной концентрации, а также продуктов его распада. Кавычки закрываются. В оценке специалистов установленная Высокая, значительная концентрация от 1034 неминуемо привела бы к летальному исходу. А с учетом его высокой летучести, вопрос об обнаружении специалистами центра в городе Шпиц этого отравляющего вещества в исходном состоянии, к тому же в чистом виде высокой концентрации, представляется крайне подозрительным, потому что период между отравлением и взятием проб был достаточно продолжительным, две с лишним недели, по-моему. Вот, и принимая во внимание, что пострадавшая Юлия Скрипаль и полицейские уже выписаны из больницы, а Сергей Скрипаль, как сообщают нам британцы, не, не давая доступа ни к Юлии, ни к Сергею, пошел на поправку, клиническая картина больше соответствует применению именно отравляющего вещества БИЗ. In this regard, we are asking the OPCW why the information which reflected the conclusion of the specialist from the Spitz laboratory was completely omitted from the final document. And of course, if the OPCW decides to deny that it is the Spitz laboratory, then it would be interesting to hear those explanations too. The Spitz lab representatives denied commenting the Lavrov's claims, arguing that the only OPCW was designated to make statements. Nevertheless, they confirmed that the testing standards of the Spitz lab are as stringent as in the Porton Down laboratory, and underlined that their findings could be trusted. Lavrov also pointed out that the BZ chemical, as well as the Novichok toxin, was not mentioned in the OPCW final report. Actually, the main intrigue is not that the experts obtain the results, which displease some official body that are trying too hard to manipulate the facts in official documents. The most interesting issue is that the official British bodies, politicians and mass media are engaged into manipulating facts. Less than two weeks ago, the world witnessed another scandal relating to the Skripal's poisoning, when it had become clear that the Foreign Office and Prime Minister Boris Johnson lied about the test results allegedly thundering against the Russians. Then the most people were surprised not so much at the fact that the British authorities were lying, but the way they did it, since the Skripal's case is a classic fruit of the poison tree situation. When I look at the, at the evidence, I mean, the people from 
from Porton Down, they were absolutely categorical. And I asked the guy myself, I said, are you sure? And he said, there's no doubt. Are you ready to point the finger of blame, Foreign Secretary? Sir, is there now certainly a Russian connection? Is the government going to accuse Russia? Poisoning of Sergei Skripal is not an isolated case, but the latest in a pattern of reckless behavior by the Russian state. The Russians. The Russians are Russian. Russia. Russia. Russian. Russian denial. I'm afraid the evidence is overwhelming that it is Russia. And In fact, this agent resembles the one that had been used against Muammar Gaddafi and his bodyguards. He disabled them for a while when they were breaking out from shirt. Watch the video of the Gaddafi's murder and you will easily understand how Skripal and his daughter looked like a few days after they had been taken to hospital. At the same place, there were found traces of another agent that Theresa May and Boris Johnson undoubtedly called Novichok. But the trouble is that the agent turned out to be the purest one. In addition, if it were applied to the bench surface just before the scribble sat on it, the agent would not be as pure as it had been. Therefore, it could be assumed that it was highly likely applied much later. That's what those spacemen were for. They came much later when hundreds of people were messing around and none of them suffered. By the way, where are all those numerous victims whom Theresa May was screaming at? This is about the Russian poisoning in Salt Korea, but it didn't happen. Or at least, if it did happen, it certainly wasn't the Russians. But I'm actually of the belief that it never happened at all, and that it is a false flag. Now immediately some of you will be going, where's your tinfoil hat, Simon? Well, where's your evidence? Let's look at a few things. A. It's such a deadly nerve agent that people have to wear bio suits, right? Yeah, fair enough. Except the copper that protects the house or the firemen that were near it and numerous other people that came into contact with the alleged areas that this deadly nerve agent was at. Nobody's dead yet and the cop has gone home. And incidentally, why haven't we had any um, interviews with a, the, the police officer? Why haven't we had any pictures or anything like this? Why? Because it's a false flag. The Britain's version that the Russians have been the only with the motive to kill Skripal is now coming apart at seams, but London hopes that its monumental fake will be supported even further. Firstly, the British officials will be thoroughly trying to sweep this problem under the carpet and to call a fake news every evidence that goes against the London's opinion. Secondly, they would try to get the OPCW occupied with another huge story, preferably with the Russians allegedly to be involved. A so-called chemical attack in the eastern Guda could not be better. And finally, they are now taking their time to destroy all evidences as quickly as possible. Just imagine, why would it be to the benefit of London? First of all, the Brexit, to say the least, is turning out to be a disaster, and the British authorities try to divert people's attention from these problems. Secondly, Britain still can accept the fact that it dramatically failed to become the host of the World Cup 2018. Therefore, as the World Cup draws closer, London sees the world with numerous absurd statements why the Russians took the World Cup finals and how bad it is going to be in Russia during the World Cup. Anyway, this is all irrelevant. The main issue is what is going on with the Skripals. Where are they? While the Skripals investigation is far from being completed, it is clear that London is wooing them, important witnesses, in an attempt not to pull out in full view of the world. There's a few common DIP keywords to listen for. And reassuring words, words like stabilize, secure, safe. If they say these words, particularly with repetition, okay. it means they're going to kill you. Oh, God. Or and turn you somewhere offshore for a very long time. Okay. okay. Now, stay with me. If they tell you you're safe... If they tell me I'm safe... 